it's coming down to a really close race. Now, regardless of who wins today, uh, who should India be rooting for uh, when it comes to immigration, uh, education, outsourcing? Uh, what's they have very different stances on uh, on those the, both candidates. W what do you have to say about that? So it's it's inappropriate and improper for me to speculate on the individual policies that the president-elect might uh, pursue. But I will say this, and I believe this wholeheartedly, that I think there will largely be continuity in the U.S. relationship with India, and I say that for several reasons. One is this kind of foundation of shared values and interests that we have with India. We're both democracies, pluralistic societies. We have these strong people-to-people -people ties, business, business and commercial ties between our two countries. There's recognition in the United States of India's growing importance in the region and the world. There's, uh, we're working together as governments more closely than ever before on issues ranging from climate change to health, education, science, defense, security. So our cooperation is as good as it's ever been. And I, I am absolutely convinced that, again, there may be variations in individual policies, but the general trend will continue to be to build and expand on this great partnership we have with India.